I'm Ruby and we're gonna make a utility quilt. A utility quilt is a tarp made out of plastic bags that are fused together with hot iron. Before you begin, you will need bags, scissors, an iron, parchment paper, and grommets. First, you need a lot of plastic bags. You need about 400 bags to make one large quilt. First, you need to flatten it. Once it's flat, you fold it four times. So it looks like this. Trace it down and cut the bottom off and the handles off. And you open it back up until it's one flat tube of plastic. Next, you take three bags and layer them one on top of the other. Take a piece of parchment paper and put it over top of them. Iron it for 10 seconds, but make sure it's on high. Flip it over and do, do it to the other side. And then you've made a perfect square for a utility quilt. Okay. Now you're ready to assemble the utility quilt. To do that, you take all of your squares, lay the bags one on top of each other, put the tracing paper over the seam where they overlap, and iron it until they fuse together. The bags will fuse together, and now you have a bigger sheet. Make sure you work in a well-ventilated area or have a fan nearby. Continue to iron the squares together until you've formed a 10 foot by 12 foot tarp. Cover the tarp in heavy plastic, trim the edges, reinforce them with duct tape, grommet the corners, and you've made a utility quilt. Uh, some of you may have questions about what kind of bags you can use and what kind of bags you can't use. Any bag really works except for really crinkly kinds like cellophane or, or things like that. But uh, grocery bags work, produce bags work, Ziploc bags work. Try bubble wrap. Gar bubble, no, I haven't tried bubble wrap. I'm tried bubble <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for helping out the people of Haiti. Now make a utility quilt, take it there with you, send it there, or contact me at utilityquilt.blogspot.com and I'll help you get it there.